Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. In today's video, I will show you how to do sublimation on phone cases and chargers. For this project, you will need a printer with sublimation ink, sublimation paper. I am using Hippo sublimation ink and paper, heat resistant tape, a heat press, either butcher or a Teflon layer, and of course, the sublimation blanks. This time, I am using InnoSub phone cases and chargers. I will link them in the video description down below, along with all the supplies used in this tutorial. I will start working with the designs that I will use to sublimate the phone cases and chargers. To create and print my sublimation designs, I like to use the free graphic design program Inkscape. If you don't have it yet and would like to start using it for sublimation printing, I invite you to download it from Inkscape.org. I will link it in the description below along with my tutorial on how to use Inkscape for sublimation printing. To create the template, first I need to measure the phone cases and chargers. This one is an iPhone 14 Pro Max and it measures 6 1 4th by 3 inches. The charger measures 3 and 3 quarters of an inch. Besides measuring the items, you also have the option to download the templates from their website, ignosub.com. Find the link in the video description below. I use this template as a guide, but I prefer to create my own template using the item's measurements. I will show you in a little bit, but if you decide to download it, just select the one of your needs and click on download and save it on your computer. Now I will show you how to open it in Inkscape. Open Inkscape, go to File, Import, select the PDF template, open it, and here click OK. Now click on the paint bucket and click on the font template that you need to use. Then erase the one on the bottom. Now you only have the template. Like I mentioned before, I rather create my own template. I will show you how I make my own template. Click on the square on the left and draw a rectangle on the canvas. Click on the top arrow Go to the size bar above, change it to inches. My phone case measured 6 1 4th by 3 inches, but I will add an extra 1 4th of an inch on each side. So the rectangle will measure 6.5 inches by 3.25 inches. I will change the color using the color palette below. You may add color, text, a background with pattern, or even a picture. First, I will show you how to add a background with pattern. I will use this background. I will resize it and place it under the rectangle. Select both layers, right click and click on set clip. Here is the template with a beautiful background. Now I will show you how to add a picture. Remember, you may use the downloaded template instead of the rectangle. I prefer to use the rectangle to make the template. Now select both layers, right click and set 
clip. Here is the template with a picture. Now that I already showed you how to add color, background with pattern and a picture, I will show you how to add text to it. Click on the A, click on the canvas and start typing. I will rotate it using this arrow above and I will resize it. This font is called Mona Lisa and offers beautiful glyph. I will add some glyph to some of the letters. If you like to use this font, find the link in the video description down below. I will show you a different way to add details to letters. I have showed you before how to add those details using character map, but this time I will show you how to add those characters directly from Inkscape. Now click on the T on the right, click where it says features, then feature settings, and you will be able to see those characters only if the font offers them. I will add a glyph to the letter Y, so I will select it and I will look for a right side glyph. It's this one, so I'm going to click on that one and then I'm going to click on apply. And there is the letter with a beautiful heart. I will do the same to the letter D. I'm going to select the letter D look for the left side glyph, click on it, and then click on apply. And ready. Now just resize it and align. Remember that the opening for the camera is on the top left. Now I will change the color. Select both layers, right click and group. The template is ready to be printed. I will do the same with this other one. These two templates are ready. Now we're going to do the same process to create the design for the charger. Now for this one we are going to draw a circle. Click on the circle on the left, then draw a circle on the canvas. Resize it. Remember the charger measured 3 and 3 quarters of an inch. So this circle will measure four inches, one fourth of an inch extra. Place the circle on top of the picture or background. Select both layers, right click and set clip. Now you can add text if you wish. Now I will show you how to print them. I will print these three designs to sublimate the phone cases and charger. Go to File, click on Print, select the printer you wish to use, go all the way down and click on More Settings. On Paper Source, either select Cassette or Paper Tray. Select the document size, in this case I'm going to select letter size. On orientation I'm going to leave portrait. On paper type I'm going to select premium presentation paper mat. On quality select high. 
click print preview if you wish then go to more options and here we have to uncheck mirror image to sublimate tempered glass phone cases and chargers you don't need to print the designs on mirror mode click ok then print and this is a preview of how it's going to print if everything looks ok click on print to print my sublimation designs i use my epson echo tank printer with sublimation ink if you would like to learn how to convert an Epson Echo Tank into a sublimation printer, I invite you to look for my tutorials on my channel. I'm going to link it in the video description down below. And here is the printing. It doesn't look very colorful, but don't worry. Sublimation ink activates with heat. I will sublimate an iPhone 14 Pro Max an iPhone 14 Pro and a charger. Remove the sticker from the sublimation area and carefully place the printed design. Secure it with heat resistant tape. I'm going to press them at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 55 seconds. Place a piece of butcher paper or a Teflon layer on top. To press the designs, I use my HTV Rond Auto Heat Press Machine. I'm going to link it in the video description down below. Let's reveal the designs. I love the colors, very vivid and bright. Now I'm going to place the sublimated designs on the phone cases and charger. These sublimation blanks are from ignosub.com. I'm going to link them in the video description below if you would like to know more about them. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.